Hello, had a little message pop up on my screen. Happy Valentine's Day for those of you that celebrate Valentine's Day. It's a overcast, pretty cloudy day here in South Texas. A little chilly at 69 degrees. I know, I'm a cold weather wimp, right? Uh, so anyway, I posted a video uh, yesterday. I think it was yesterday. I went out and got some pricing uh, on a trade-in for the new Tacoma. And it was very interesting, the range that's out there that you can get, right? And if you didn't see that video, check it out. Uh, very interesting to me, although a more difficult way to sell, I think, uh, if you're looking to sell, uh, because you have to kind of jump through hoops to do it, you know? And interestingly, it seems to me that the 2024 Tacoma is starting to show up in my area. I've seen it, uh, maybe, you never know until you call or actually go to the dealership or somebody gets a hold of you, right? Uh, but it seems like uh, they're starting to show up here in South Texas, uh, which means my options might be open a little bit if I were to decide to do something. You know, I've mentioned before that I'm probably going to wait until the hybrid comes out. And of course, the aftermarket prices or increases rather uh, are not there anymore. You know, paying the uh, market adjustment fee. I've heard it as much as five to ten thousand dollars on this new Tacoma. Uh, not something that I'm really jonesing to do. You know, I mean, that's a lot of money. Unless, of course, there's always a caveat to that. You know, markups. If you get a good price for your existing ride, your existing Tacoma, then maybe that offsets the markup. For instance, let's say that you could get, I don't know, an extra five grand or whatever for the existing Tacoma. And then maybe that $5,000 markup disappears and puts you back at MSRP which I hate to say it, MSRP, right? Remember, you used to be able to go in and, and get less than that, right? Even on a newer vehicle or something that's just coming out like the Toyota Tacoma. I don't know, but that is a good way to offset uh, the market adjustment because supposedly the outgoing third generation Tacoma is gonna be worth a lot more money, right? So if that's truly the case, and people are wanting the third gen, then maybe it makes sense. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, like I said, I've, I've seen that they're starting to show up uh, at some of the dealerships in my area. And when I say in my area, I mean within, let's say, a 50-mile radius uh, of where I live. And if you can get the right deal, yeah, I'm not opposed to driving 50 miles or something. I mean, you know, not a big deal if you can find the one that you want. Now, something interesting came up. You know, I had talked before about getting potentially the Sport um, eventually, hopefully in the hybrid version. But I saw some pictures just this morning of the Sport, and I'm not sure I'm really digging the way that it's been integrated. Uh, I'm talking about the hood scoop uh, into the hood on the truck. It looks like kind of a flat rectangular piece almost. I don't know, I'd have to see it in person. I still, of course, want to see one in person or more than one in person once they start to show up. But let's talk about this pricing for a minute. You know, I went out to the usual suspects, the CarMaxes and True Car and uh, Carvana and even Kelly Blue Book to see what my Toyota Tacoma is worth. And if you're new, maybe you're just kicking on, we've got five breathing bodies on here right now. Um, hopefully more folks will join. I know, kicking in on a, on a Wednesday at lunchtime. Uh, it could be rather slim pickings out there. But anyway, if you're not familiar with the channel, you're just stopping by, maybe you're new. I've got a 2023 uh, Toyota TRD off-road. This is the off-road. A lot of people mistake it for the Pro because of that color. It is the electric lime green, and that is the color that they came out with for the Pro. Uh, not too long ago. So that's what I have. That's what I will trade eventually uh, whenever it is that I decide to do that, right? 
So going out and looking at the pricing and stuff out there, I mean, I found everything from 30,000 on up to uh, 39, almost $40,000 for my existing Toyota Tacoma. By the way, if you're just getting on, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, say hey, say something, anything, you know. Uh, but anyway, the lowest price I found, uh, which I was kind of surprised, $30,242 from True Car. Uh, and I had somebody comment on a video yesterday, uh, maybe it was last night, about how their dealership uses True Car to value trade ins. And it's no wonder why, you know, $30,242 uh, for a uh, 2023 Toyota Tacoma is pretty damn low, I think. I think uh, they're putting it to you if they're doing that. So it's not surprising to me that some dealership out there might utilize that because, of course, it would be in their favor, right, if you're, uh, if you're being honest. Um, the next one I found uh, out there was from uh, Carvana. And if you're not familiar with them, that's the company that will come and pick up your ride. Just be cautious. They, you have to live in an area that's fairly well populated uh, or you get to drive to meet them somewhere. In my case, it would be like 75 miles uh, to go ahead and, and, and trade it out or have them buy it. But anyway, $35,000 uh, from that company. A little bit better, but still not very good. I think 35,000 is pretty darn low. And it's interesting on this one, they show a graph. Uh, you can see here kind of a trend starts over here and then it goes up and then they're anticipating it to drop down a little bit and then kind of level off. Uh, I don't think that's really accurate myself, but yeah, I guess we'll see, you know, who knows. The next one was, uh, was CarMax. I love CarMax. I've dealt with CarMax many times over the years, always gotten good vehicles from them. Problem with CarMax is there's no real way to, to dicker. They won't dicker with you at all. So the price is the price, take it or leave it, that's the way it is. But they were at uh, $37,000. Um, eh, still not, uh, not a good price in my opinion. The best one that I found was Kelly Blue Book. Kelly Blue Book valued the vehicle, again, this is a 2023 TRD off-road, at $39,792. And they showed a range, um, 38,158 to 41,425. Now we're starting to talk a little bit, right? I mean, 41,425 is pretty darn good. And I realize that's at the top of the range. I'll let you guys see it. That's what uh, their trade-in value came up as. Now, the problem with dealing with somebody like Kelly Blue Book or really any of these folks, except for CarMax, is they will give you, it's usually three or so buyers that they say are interested in your vehicle. You know, does that mean they're interested in it at the price that Kelly Blue Book shows? Or is that just a way for them to get connected with you and to try to uh, get your price down a little bit? In other words, can you really expect to get what somebody like Kelly Blue Book shows? I'm not sure. Um, I've never dealt with Kelly Blue Book as far, I've actually never dealt with any except for CarMax, uh, as far as selling my Tacoma. So I don't know if, uh, if you can actually expect to get what they show as far as uh, that buying price. I would suspect it's more like they're gonna put you in contact with some dealer somewhere, and then it's up to you to try to maybe negotiate uh, the price that they show, and I'm sure that dealership is gonna wanna try to sell you something. And you might even get more for your vehicle uh, if you buy something from them, because obviously they're in business to buy and sell, although they'll make up the money uh, when they sell it off. So I'm not quite sure how that would work out. Now, I mentioned, it seems to me that they are starting to show up in my area finally, and that is uh, a bit ahead of schedule. Um, last I was told, we weren't going to have any down here until probably something like <laughs> excuse me, the end of the month, which I guess we're getting closer. I mean, today is Valentine's Day, the 14th. 
So, yeah, we're about halfway through, but I didn't expect to see any down here in South Texas until mm, probably sometime in March, maybe even pushing the end of March. So it seems Toyota is a bit ahead of schedule as far as getting the 2024s out. And I guess I'm not real surprised because we know they started building them, I think, in December. And then we had this EPA uh, certificate hold in other words, they wouldn't certify the, the mileage or the EPA requirements on the truck until later on. And that held everything up. But meanwhile, one can only assume, you know what happens when you do that, that Toyota was going ahead and producing these trucks, right? They're going full bore, they're getting them out. And probably didn't suspect that they were gonna have issues, or maybe they did, with this EPA certificate thing. So. Now, I would imagine what Toyota is doing, since the truck obviously has been approved, is pushing them out. Meaning, all of the trucks that they've been stockpiling that have been sitting there in the warehouse or warehouses are now going out to the dealership. So I suspect, especially since I'm seeing them down here in South Texas now, that we're going to see a whole bunch of them come out. That we're going to actually start to see some inventory on the lots. Now, what's going to be interesting, getting back to pricing again, and I, I know this has been beaten to death about pricing, right? But we will determine, of course, how long the aftermarket adjustments stick. And you know they'll go away eventually. I mean, they have to. And I've seen it on every vehicle out there, particularly on something like the Tacoma that uh, is a daily driver type uh, let's call it common vehicle. I mean, there are millions of them on the road. They're certainly not scarce. So once they propagate through the market and start to get on the lots, you're not going to have that markup anymore. It's going to go away. I'll be very interested to see how long that takes. Is it going to be months? Is it going to be weeks? Is it going to be tomorrow? I'm not exactly sure myself, but I can't imagine it's going to be around long, and we may even see start or start to see rather some sort of a, a slow reduction in that cost, right? Because I noticed when I uh, went out and looked at other dealerships, both in the area and across the country, that market adjustment fee varies wildly. Anything from a couple of grand, maybe three thousand, and it's stated right on some of the folks' websites, so it's not a secret. But you can go out and look, and you see that it varies anywhere from a couple of grand, three thousand, let's call it. They were like twenty-seven to twenty-nine hundred, on up to, as I mentioned, ten thousand dollars. I can only imagine that the ten thousand dollar mark. There's there's one or two markets that that's in. I think one is maybe a small market that still has enough people around that there'll be some demand for it. And two, the great big giant markets where there are tons and tons of people interested in the new Tacoma and they can draw from that pool of people uh, because it is scarce at the moment. But like I said, since the EPA certificates are now assigned, I guess, or approved is probably a better word, uh, they're going to be coming out a heck of a lot faster and in much greater quantities. Something interesting, I did notice of the ones that I've seen that are available or coming via allocation to the dealerships uh, are, of course, the bland colors. You've got black, blue, or not blue, black, I think it was black, gray, white, and silver. That's what I'm seeing out there. And it's funny because apparently it's us, the market, that determines that. Toyota wants to put out something, obviously, that everybody's going to be potentially interested in. And if you put out a color like lime green in mass, it's not going to be loved by everybody. And I can tell you, uh, it doesn't get a ton of love on the channel. Some people really do like it. And it's too bad because when you see that color in person, especially when it's bright sunshine, it really does pop. It's probably about as eye-catching as voodoo blue or Barcelona red, or maybe even solar octane is. It's that much, it's that profound of a color, I guess. So it's too bad that, uh, that they aren't more uh, in numbers out there, I guess. But we're going to see the grays and the blacks and the silvers. Maybe they'll sprinkle in the, the new blueprint or whatever it's called color. 
And maybe uh, you might even get lucky and see that solar octane. I don't know. What I would really like is the, and I can't remember the name of it, the color that they have on the Trail Hunter. If you know it, leave a comment down below. Let me know, because I can't remember right now what that color is. But if they would make that color available, that's also something that I would be interested in. I like that color on the Tacoma, and it is something that's unique. I don't think that they're going to put that color out in mass, so we shall see. So I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at right now as far as, uh, you know, what to do. That's the, the title of the, the live stream, I guess, is uh, should I take the Tacoma deal? And that deal would be Kelly Blue Book. Uh, 39792 to $41,425 for the truck. I mean, ideally for me, I think if I could get uh, what I paid for that truck, and it was, I can't remember off the top of my head, it was in that ballpark. I, I don't have the exact number in front of me. But if I could get what I paid for the truck, that in essence would mean that I basically drove it for a year, year and a half, whatever it is that I've had it, probably a year, not, not quite a year yet, but I drove it for free and that would be too cool. Now, if I could get even more, obviously that would be better. And that's only happened a few times in my car buying life uh, where I've actually sold a car for more money than I paid for it. Uh, but it's very unusual, very unique experience. You have to have just the right vehicle and you have to be in just the right time to do that. And we may be there with the Tacoma. I'm not sure, the third generation anyway, we shall see. But like I said, the question is, take the deal uh, or not? And for me, uh, the problem in taking the deal is, is if I took the deal and there's no other Tacoma out there to buy, uh, then I would be Tacoma-less. And I don't wanna be without a Toyota Tacoma. So it's not something that I would be looking to do at the moment, but you know, those numbers, those values fluctuate, right? Every day they fluctuate. They may even fluctuate hourly throughout the day. It depends on what the demand is. And now that we have the 2024 showing up, it's gonna be very interesting to see if that affects uh, the value of the third generation now that they're, it seems, starting to come out in numbers. Who knows? It's kind of hard to say, right? Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, post that question. If you're watching this after the fact, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Would you take the deal? If you could get 39.7 to 41.4 out of your Toyota Tacoma, would you take the deal? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.